The victim of a shooting on the Bay Bridge is speaking out tonight. The man, lucky to be alive after a bullet grazed his head during an apparent act of road rage. Yeah, that shooting happened last Friday night in the westbound lanes near Treasure Island. The victim tells Crown 4 that he was just centimeters away from death. Crown 4's Dan Thorne talked with him, and Dan joins us here in the studio tonight with more. Wow. Yeah, wow is yeah. right. Definitely a frightening situation. The victim's name is Vincent Williams, and he says he was on his way to San Francisco Francisco to help someone on Friday night when he was shot. Williams is the CEO of Urban Compassion Project, which is committed to helping the homeless here in our area. He says that he is blessed to be able to continue to do that work, but it will be a long road to recovery. I was definitely um, centimeters from dying. You can say through swollen eyes from a gunshot wound to the head. Vincent Williams shares his story of surviving a shooting on the Bay Bridge, dodging death. Williams is lucky to be alive. I didn't know that I had been shot at the time. I felt just a bunch of liquid coming down my face. Williams says he was shot by a road rage driver last Friday night near Treasure Island. He was on his way to do a wellness check on an unhoused person in San Francisco. It's part of the work he does as the founder and CEO of the Urban Compassion Project. The shooter, he recalls, was in a blue Ford Fusion driving aggressively. This person was swerving in and out of traffic. Um, I don't know why, but they kind of zoned in on me. Williams says he tried to get away, but then... It was at this point that everything just kind of went dark. Williams was somehow able to park his car on the bridge despite a bullet fracturing his skull. I want to say that my survival instinct kicked in. You know, it was like fight or flight, and I didn't want to die, so I decided that I was going to fight through it. Even though the shooter got away, Williams says he has a new outlook on life. He's grateful and wants to stay committed to his community. He also considers his tattered and bloody clothing with the words experience, strength, and hope to be a symbol. As for the road rage shooter, Williams hopes they can change their ways. Take a lesson from this. Take a lesson from this and knowing that, like, you didn't actually take my life and that you have another chance. Well, Williams is right now at home recovering. CHP has not made any arrests or named a suspect. There is a fundraising effort that is currently underway to help Williams with his medical bills. His friends believe they will cost more than $100,000. Reporting live in studio, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News.